Matthew, you were brought into the business to primarily operate and run this Fanuc Robo Drill. Uh, can you tell us about your opinion thus far? The, the, the Robo Drill is an amazing machine. It allows you to increase your productivity time and which allows you to produce more parts and more efficiently. How does it do that? Because you've got experience with machining sensors before. What are the aspects of the machine that make it more productive? It's the speed it moves when it's not actually cutting. That's where it generates a lot more speed and then it allows you to move around the parts a lot quicker. And what sort of materials are you cutting on the machine? Uh, are you doing some harder uh, components as well as the soft aluminiums? Uh, majority of the time we do aluminium and soft steel, but the machine will actually do the harder steels like the D2 tool steel and we have actually done a few parts with it and it runs absolutely fine as if it was doing solid steels or the softer steels. Even, if, even though the fact you've got a BT30 tool changer here, yes. you don't still get any vibration or no. increased tool wear on those harder materials? No, there's, there's no vibration. It's all about adjusting your speeds and feeds to suit what material that you have within. doesn't matter how big the machine is. It can be a small machine or a big machine. As long as you get your speeds and your feeds right, it runs just as well on small or large machines. We look at this as a high power spindle, Matthew, but what, what sort of speed does it operate at? It, the maximum operating speed is 10,000 RPM. And a lot of the stuff you do is reverse engineering as well, isn't it? So how, yes. how do, you go, do you use a cam, so, cam solution in order to do that? We have a, a cam software called Mastercam, and we also have two CMM machines and when you do the reverse engineering, how, how do you do it? Do you measure the part and then just, can you talk us through what happens? Yeah, when we have a, a customer will ask us to re-engineer a part and what we tend to do is we, we sit down, we measure the part and then we actually put it onto a master cam system by drawing it and then adding all the tools to it and then it will generate the programme for the robo drill. And how reliable is the end product that comes out of that? Do you find that what you ask it to do, it actually does? Yes, with very, very tight tolerances, 0 0.001. It's very good. And I can see that at the rear of the machine is where the swarf would exit. Could you maybe give us a little bit more detail on that? Yes, it's, a, it's very good. And there's a process in the machine where you can just add the coolant to it, flooding it all the time. So it's washing your, your, your parts away. So you never have to spend time with the machine, not machining because no. you're cleaning? The cleaning time, no. It's the, the cleaning time's gone. The coolant washes it away. I would like you to summarise, if you could, in a sentence, Matthew, a few final words on this robo drill. It's a small, reliable machine and it's very compact, which allows your production time to increase because you can get the stuff off a lot quicker.